Tommy the Gun is back in town. Nice. He's come up to the north <laughs> for a chest and back bodyweight session. Yeah, <laughs> Here we go. You know, it means one thing when Tommy Gun's in town. <laughs> oh, oh, you can go, guy. <laughs> Tommy the Gun is back in the game. Back in the game. Two weeks off. Yeah. Two weeks of diarrhea. Diarrhea. <laughs> 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 constant. <laughs> constant ring sting. Yes. But you can't keep a good man down, yeah? Yes. <laughs> good man. Be careful. Nice. Post workout. What's post workout? What's the menu, bro? Beef. Beef. Steak. Post workout beef, Tommy the Gun. Yes, beef protein. Beef boof. Nick, you get hand, yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, no power. No power, man. Yeah. You'll get it back. You'll get it back quick. Uh. Welcome yeah. back to the YouTube. The whites have left. <laughs> the white family have left. The um, we've got Tommy Gunn in town. Hello. 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 Lab and mashed potato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 this guy's crazy. Wow. Oh bless you, good morning man. It is, we're in the heart of the Thai winter and I've got the, the Northie and the hat on. It's cold man, fresh in the morning, it's nice. Um, although I would not be, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not jumping the gun and getting out on the bike man, cause that would be even colder. But it is deload week. I'm hanging in there just like I guess like most of you guys on that week in between Christmas and New Year. The beers, I mean yesterday's a great example. I had one and a half bottles, which I think pr pretty much one and a half pint of beer. Eight hours and 18 minutes sleep with a 44 sleep score. I know you don't have to jump on them sleep scores too hard, but that just goes to show you, man. <laughs> it's, it's madness. I didn't fit, obviously not drunk, eating food with it as well. Went to bed at 9.30 p.m. I mean, you can't really, can't really do much more than that. And we've got beers again tonight. So, I mean, I did my best. I did my best during the Christmas period, but like I say, man, if you're on it all year, why not have some downtime over Christmas? <sighs> you see, like, mixed... You see mixed... What's the word? Not information, but you mixed messages. Online, you'll get the guys who are like, yeah, I'm training all the way through. I'm just on it as normal. And the guys who are backing off, enjoy yourself with your family. 
I think my message would be just go with the flow man depending where you're at with your training obviously there's nothing wrong with taking some time with the fam and enjoying yourself but again for me it's all about what you did for the previous like 50 weeks if you if you absolutely hammered it got to where you wanted to be take some time over christmas if you literally just got into training in november yeah man make a make a strict plan through through december to get you through to january 1st or if you know yourself kind of like me obviously did a lot of training for 50 weeks but i know if i take my if i take the handbrake off too much or if i relax too much i can gain 10 kilograms of body fat like that so i'm sort of in that mid ground where time to deload make sure i keep on top of some activity do a couple of training sessions a couple of sessions here and there but enjoy the time enjoy the time with the family etc i think that's the best advice i can give you but like I always say to guys, even if worst case scenario, and I've done it, I've done it so many times, probably out of the 33 years, well, out of the 16 years I've been training while being, while going through Christmas, I'm going to say 11 times, yeah, 11 times I completely shot it, shot it out of the arse and gained 10 kilograms of body fat, so it just happens, man. But 1st of January will come, typically January and February are real quiet months and you'll be back in the game from there so don't stress it too much man it's not a, it's not the end of the world kind of thing but we're just on a morning walk it's been on the walk so running I'll be honest man it's not feeling great on the shin which I've kind of downgraded to walking for this week just give myself a little bit extra time I did a 20 minute continuous run and yeah man it's uh it didn't feel great after so probably as always just trying to exit i'm struggling with this on my arm dude <sighs> yeah man gives a sec oh jesus that was that's it's an iphone for god's sake oh yeah man i probably jumped the gun a little bit just getting excited with the running so Use this deload week as well. Just walking, no bike, no um, no running. I'm just been walking, doing a couple of little body weight sessions. Um, and yeah, man, we're nearly there anyway. One more day on the beers. New Year's Eve, sack that off. I'm not interested, man. It's uh, always an anti-climax. Just enjoy the week through. Whew. But yeah, I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go, man. My shoulders are cramping up. Just while I've got you as well on the walk, that's where the thoughts flow, you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, man, so I've got literally 24 hours to book that half marathon or marathon, and it's just going to be a no-go. I've accepted that. Just just now I've accepted it. Um, I have actually just then been doing like a, I wouldn't call it a run, but I've been replicating the motion of a run at about a walking pace, and it feels good, so... The plan is I'm going to go into a year based, I'm going to go into a year plan to do a marathon and just give myself loads of time to adapt to running. Um, I'm going to do eight months of base training, starting, I'm just going to start getting the frequency in first. I'm going to run four or five times a week, probably four first. Even if I can't run, I'm going to go out in the morning because I like that setup anyway, morning CV resistance training in the afternoon if i get up early enough i should have time to take that off while still being still spending time with lana as well so that's just come to me man and that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna we're gonna also sprinkle in obviously love going on the bike so the bike will be in at least twice a week and i'm gonna sprinkle in some swim lessons as well resistance training is going to be flexible but still very much in there, at least three sessions a week. 
um, obviously volume managed goals managed within that as well but with the flexibility of going to free sessions so what I tend to do is Monday Tuesday tick off the full body so if that's like an anterior session post posterior session I'm still undecided about that I tend I like to change chest and back at the same time so maybe something along those lines and then the the arse end of the week basically the back end of the week I see how I feel and if I need to just do a full body on the Thursday or Friday just to allow for that extra bit of recovery that's what I do man so I like that approach but massive focus on because I feel like the running defeated me which is not a good feeling um, yeah it's like the body the shin just gave way I feel like yeah it feels like a defeat so I need to come back and win, you know what I mean? I need to come back and do it properly. I didn't give my enough, myself enough time, obviously, 16 weeks to go from running like 10K a week to doing a marathon is pretty stupid, but I feel like, I'm glad I did it, man. I learned a lot, so, and it put me in my place where I'm at, so I know what I need to do. And if there's one thing I can do, there's one thing I can say I'm good at is just, doing something for ages irregardless uh, not irregardless but i can just lock in and do something for a long time so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to use that skill probably one of my only skills <laughs> i'm going to use that and imp implement it with running but yeah man i thought i'd get that get that i'd send that to you on this video and once again, my shoulder is about to cramp. Wait. What's for breakfast, Tommy the Gun? Lab. Good for, what's it good for? Good for take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with protein oats and pineapple for the morning. Ease my way into some Thai food in the afternoon, but relentless. That is raw meat for breakfast, so he's right. It is good for taking a shit. Very good. Emptying yourself out. Poof. Kaboom! Where are we? We live in Doi Tung. Doi Tung. The mountain, yeah? Yes. Nice, nice and cold? Like air conditioner. Air conditioner. <laughs> nice, really cold. Oi. Oi. Say oi. Where are we going? Oi. 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 We've got some mountain bean coffee. Tell me the guns on. What flavour, bro? Matcha and vanilla. Yeah, you don't drink coffee, do you? No. no. Take a shit too much. <laughs> <laughs> Dancing, Lana. Dancing. Dancing. Bye bye. <laughs> Got an ice cream, Tommy the Gun. Nice. Uh, cookies and cream and macadamia, chocolate. Yeah. Dirty boy. <laughs> Make a video, tell me the gun, explain where we're going. Where are we going now? 
Royal Place. Royal Place. Yes. Nice. Nice. The guy can can my of king. King number nine. Nice. Nice. Four. Four. Avocado. Avocado smoothies. Yeah. Yes. Offset some of that um raw meat that you've been eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do I do? Do I do? Ring sting every day, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the life, brother. Yeah. <laughs>